All right, today we are doing an every single Lil Uzi Vert song tier list. Uh, I am a pretty big Uzi fan. I'm very excited for Pink Tape. Bro needs to drop. I think we can all get that, you know, agree on that part. Uh, but let's start. All right, here we go. We got this song with Gunna and was it Don Tolliver? Yeah, this song was I. It low key was pretty like industry though. I don't know. I'd say it's okay. It's nothing crazy from Uzi, especially Uzi's performance. Like, I don't even have on my playlist. It's too poppy for me. Um, the real Uzi. Let me... I honestly have not listened to, like, any of these songs. I'm going to keep it a buck. So, I'm just going to keep them. I'm just going to put them here. Um, they're not even on Spotify. Call me not a fan. You could say whatever you want. I'm just... All right. Then this one. This one's, like, the London one. Yeah, this one I, I've listened to, like, once. 420 in London. Yeah, it's not insane. I... But I've listened to it like once or twice. Um, this is The Way Life Goes remix with Nikki, I believe. Honestly, pretty mid. Nikki's incredible. The remix is not it. Not it. I'm not the biggest fan of the remix. Uh, this song, I honestly, I've seen it in his, his uh, discography. Listened to it like once or twice. Never came back to it. Couldn't even tell you the name. Uh, Teenage Dream 2. This one with... Um, yeah, that, that, that country guy, right? This song was all right. I listened to it. it. It was cool. Like, Uzi was going to different genres. Oh, Zim uh, Boom Fu. Okay, that one. Yeah, Teenage Dreams 2 is pretty good. It's just not my favorite. Like, that song is beautiful. Really? Ah, yeah, the Kid G. Yeah, Kid G. I, I, don't, I don't know. I just... Mm, maybe it's great. Okay, I'll put it in great. I like it better than... Oh, yeah, this one's... Uh, yeah, the, her, right? Um, teenage, yeah, it's okay, but yeah, I'm gonna put it in okay because Uzi has a lot of songs. Uzi Gang is is just not it for me. Um, then this one's uh, 1600 versus the world, right? Wait, 1600 versus the world? No, 1900, se 10 17 versus the world. Why am I tripping? 10 17 versus the world. Um, this album also, I've listened to it like one all the way through, one time all the way through. Uh, Change My Phone is actually pretty good. The rest, I just can't say I've come back to. Secure the Bag is pretty good. Uh, yeah, the rest I just haven't gone back to. Badass is pretty cool. Another genre bending one where he did like a rock kind of thing. I actually kind of liked it when it dropped. It's a decent workout song. Uzi's part goes hard. I like it. It's okay. Um, all right. Boring shit. Honestly, I haven't listened to enough. Love Scars is, eh. Love Scars, K yeah, it's, it's not my favorite. Then we have YSL. This song I honestly haven't listened to. All right, here we go. Now we have all the mainstream, Uzi. All this, all these songs are on Spotify, right? Pretty much all except, like, this, um, free Uzi. All right, Demon High. Demon High. Thank you, Travis. Demon High is honestly pretty mid. Like, it's way too poppy. I think it was probably going to be a sound that we were going to get on an album, but it got not good reception. So I think that kind of dissuaded him from going down that path. And I mean, we've got better work since then, so it's all right. Bust Me. Bust Me is top fucking tier. So good. Definitely a top five song on Eternal Take. I love this song. A incredible beat from Bugs Ronin. Uh, the chorus, the hook, the verse. Love it. Uh, very, very catchy. Prices is honestly a little overrated, in my opinion. I liked it right off the gate. Massive L on Bust Me. Dude, Bust Me is so good. Prices is just great to me. It honestly, yeah. I, I liked it a lot. Bro, the Eternal Take trailer. Let, we're not going to spend all day on this. But let me remind y'all of the Eternal Take trailer. Like, more artists need to do trailers for albums. This was amazing. And a little bit of the wah, 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 right here, when he's in the field, the UFO crashes. Bro, this started COVID, this trailer. Right here. That had me so hyped. So hyped. It had me really hyped for prices, but yeah. Take me back. Take me back. Anyway, prices had me really hyped then, but then when it's once it dropped, it, it's it just it got kind of annoying to me, honestly. So yeah, I'm putting it in great. 
Urgency is pretty trash. There's no other way to put... Like, it grew on me to an extent, but, like, by far the worst song on Eternal Take. There's no beating around the bush. Um, we don't have to spend much time on that. Secure the Bag, same thing. Also, not the best song on Eternal Take. P2, it's not better, but, like, it is cool that he, he like, went back, acknowledged, made a, a second part to the song. But, like, it's it's just a second part to Exotor Life, and it's not, like, better than Exotor Life. It's, I mean, it's, like, good. It's very listenable. But it's nothing crazy at the end of the day. Uh, Benisha, pretty good, pretty good. Not like for 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 tier on Eternal Take, it's definitely like top ten. But it's not in the amazing for me. I love Venetia though. Venetia's great. Silly Watch got to put in the same category. Great hook, great verse. Like love the fast paceness, right? But it's it it, it doesn't touch uh, bust me in my opinion. Pop pop, I'm putting in the great tier. Pop it does pretty good live. I like it live. It's cool. Um, honestly, actually, I'm gonna put in okay. It's not that crazy to me. Pop is 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 one of the. It's like it's like a, a very listenable song, right? Not even close to the tier of Secure the Bag and Urgency, but for Eternal Take, which I consider to be a pretty good album, um, it's it's just not like in the upper echelon. Same with You Better Move. Same exact takes for You Better Move. Homecoming is honestly like the same thing as Silly Watch to me. I view them as both like fast-paced, rapping. Um, yeah, Homecoming Homecoming and Silly Watch are very, very similar to your songs to me. I think they're identical in quality. Um, and they both have, yeah, very catchy choruses. I'm Sorry is all right. Like it's it's a cool melodic, but like the, the, the performance is cool, but it's just, it's just all right. You think it's amazing? I don't agree. I think it's kind of annoying. It's kind of it's kind of like low effort Uzi for me. Celebration Station, definitely amazing. Definitely amazing. His rapping, the 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 flow, the execution of the song, the beat, everything just fucking pops. It's a great song. Same with Bigger Than Life. These are like top tier eternal take for me. Chrome Heart Tags, I got to put in Beautiful. Uh, Chief Keef popped off on the beat. W Chief Keef. Um, and the, the, uh, like everything's really, really good. Like got the like the, the little dick part is funny. Um, but other than that, it, it's good. Fave song off rip. Which one was? My fave song off rip, I think, like like off first listen was Celebration Station. Uh Low Main is probably like beautiful. It's probably beautiful. Uh it, it like that would got a lot of attention right off the gate. I liked it, but it, it never was, like, the best song for me, you know? But it's very catchy, and it, it was it was popular for a reason. Baby Pluto is also great. Uh, I, I Like, I the beat drop took so... Dude, that... I remember listening to the uh, Eternal Take right when it first dropped. Me and my friend, you know, we, we were in the lunch room, and it was really, really, really loud, and we weren't getting any cell service. So we had this clutch teacher who let us play it off my laptop um in the in private so we could actually hear it and then all, all and then after that we went uh, you know uh, to our next period and everyone had headphones in listening to the album right so we still got the effect but the lunchroom like the millisecond it dropped we had like a 20 minute lunch we're like we gotta savor this shit and i remember baby pluto yeah cell service like no one's cell service was working the day eternal take drop for for some reason um thank you travis <laughs> Really, your first song of Love is Celebrate. We we wanted to listen in order, but nah, Baby Pluto kept buffering, and we're like, dude, it took us like ten minutes for the beat to drop. It was crazy, but uh, but nah, it was it was it was a, it's a it's good. Um, it's just a little repetitive. It's not like his best work. All right, here we go. Free Uzi, Free Uzi. Let's put Free Uzi is a really really good. I it's a freestyle, right? I really like Free Uzi. I don't know if it's S tier, but it's very catchy. I'm gonna put it in beautiful. It's 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 one of his be better songs for sure. And for people that haven't heard, it's not on streaming. Do yourself a favor, listen to it on YouTube. Sauce K. Uh, it's better than it. It's better than like. It's not a leak. It's not a leak. It's officially released. It's just not under like his account. Sauce K is okay. Like it, it's it's a good song. But it's just not, like, upper echelon. I think it's listenable. It's fun to listen to. But I don't know. Yo, what's up, Anna? Uh, That's a Rack. That's a Rack is definitely... I'll put it in beautiful. 
But like I def yeah, it, it, these songs are definitely over that's a rack. I mean, it, it, it's classic. It was a good era, right? But that's a rack is definitely it, it, it's good. It's a vibe. It was cool. Like that 2018 like single era when uh, Eternal Take OG was supposed to drop, but it, it, it's just kind of yeah. Um, that way, that way's good. But like, I don't really come back to it now. Like it was, it, it was hype for Eternal Take, but it it didn't really like like I I don't I can't say I go back to it that much these days. You know, and it's not a bad song by any means, but it's just not. It's just not like the Uzi song. You're like, oh my god, bro. That way is just like you gotta listen to it. Like no one, no one's really saying that. All right, here we go. Verse the world one. Uh, where does watch this go? Watch this isn't even on here, and for a reason. Well, OG watch this I would say would probably be an amazing tier. Plug uh, plug B, uh P and B remix would probably be in great or okay, but yeah, it's it's not on here. Anywho, Money Longer. Money Longer is... Isn't it unreleased? Well, the Plug BNB remix... Uh, PNB remix... PNB? No, whatever. Is released, technically. Money Longer's S... Um, it's not like my favorite Uzi song, but it is a classic for a reason, and it put him on for a reason. It's a great song, but... Uh, Grab the Wheel? Definitely S. Dude, There's this is a great album. Grab the wheel, yeah, I gotta put this high, high amazing, not S, but yeah, amazing, we're saving this is Uzi for like, maybe five songs max, uh, you was right, I'd say it's beautiful, it's pretty low effort by like, top tier Uzi mean, uh, means, right, like, I like it, but it's, it's not, it, it's kind of low effort Uzi, but it shows that low effort Uzi is pretty fucking good, right, and that, that was, that kind of, that's kind of what put him on back in the day, right, is that like, oh wow, like, he can make a song where he, like it, it's kind of, it, it sounds like a freestyle, but like damn, this dude can really like make a vibe, you know. Um, baby, you your uh, baby, are you home? Is good, but at the same time, it's like definitely one of the worst songs on the album. I, I gotta put it at like upper tier, okay or lower, great. I like it, but yeah, it's just it's just not all that. P's and Q's, okay. <sighs> I know a lot of people would probably say that this is Uzi, but for me, for me, I got to put it at like maybe low amazing. It gets really, really repetitive to me. Um, and I have one song from this album that I'm going to put in. This is really, you think just okay. I like P's and Q's, but uh, Team Rocket, Team Rocket is definitely amazing. Uh, probably a little bit below uh, P's and Q's, but Oh, oh, you think it's okay and amazing. Yeah, 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 I agree. Uh, Team Rocket, definitely an amazing tier. But it's not like, it's not anything like outrageous for me. Or for, for this is for this is Uzi. But it shows like consistency on the album for sure. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a very underrated song. Okay, Scott and Ramona, I do not fuck with. Scott and Ramona is definitely the worst song on the album. I put it in like, okay... Maybe even mid tier. I I do not fuck with Scott and Ramona. It is definitely should have been left off the album, in my opinion. High Roller, really good, but I'm putting it in beautiful. It's not like top tier of the album. Canadian Goose. Canadian Goose is nothing. Wait, where did I drop it on accident? It's not. It, it has to be. This is Uzi. Canadian Goose is amazing. Best song of the album. Like undoubtedly. I gotta say, I gotta say, Canadian Goose, incredible. All right, here we go. Now we're on a Verse World 2. A little out of, like, order and, like, dates-wise, but that's all right. Uh, Verse World 2, I can show you's good. It's not one that's like, yeah, this is Uzi. Like, this is, like, a song I gotta show everyone, like, that my appreciation for the song. But it's 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 good. I'm glad it dropped, and it's, it makes my rotation. I listen to it every now and then. Strawberry Peels, Thug did not do his thing. Um, Uzi carries on the, on the, on his verse. I've been to over, I make a nail, send on my money like my name should kill. Like, that part's really good. But other than that, it, it it's kind of unlistenable to me. I'm putting it in okay. It, I, I honestly do not fuck with it. What's up is good. I feel like it's low effort between Uzi and, uh, I, I'll put it in great. But it, it's kind of low effort between Uzi and Future for me. But it, it is very listenable. 
I like it. It's a, it's a vibe. Yes, Sirski's really good. It is honestly like 21's song, but like you can tell that it's older 21. I'd like to see like newer 21 collab with Uzi. Um, cause he has like a, a way different sounding voice. Like it, nowadays, you know, with like her loss, it's way more like smooth and rich sounding, um, rather than like his grimy, like, uh, gangsta kind of sounding voice, it, it, a lot more raspy. And, and yes, Cersei's kind of like an in between, but I still like yes, Cersei. It is beautiful. I'd put it, I put it probably around here, like not better than Venetia or Silly Watch, but it, it's one of the better songs. Bean. Way better as a leak, but, you know, I, I hate having leak syndrome. It's still amazing. It's still amazing. Chief Keef did his thing. Uh, didn't they make it on – whose birthday was it? It was Pierre Bourne's birthday they made it on, right? Crazy story. The session – like, don't they have a ton of more songs from that session too? Yeah, Pierre Bourne had Uzi and uh, Chief Keef over on his birthday, and they made Bean. Um, it is amazing. But if they fix the mixing, it could have been this as easy. Maybe, maybe. Leaders. Leaders is good. I think it actually gets a lot more hate than it deserves. I like Nav's part. I like Uzi's part. The beat is a vibe. I think it's up there with, like, Yesersky. Honestly. I like it. Uh, got the Guap. Got the Guap's good, too. It, it, it's a little lower effort, but I, th I, think, I think it's... It's probably, like, right next to her that I can show you. Uh, money spread, not, not a big fan. Not a big fan at all. Uh, no auto, I love. No autos, no auto is pretty good. I think, I think this is really, really good with Dirk. I think it's, it's a great workout song. Definitely, like, one of the upper echelon songs of, uh, Verse World 2. Trap This Way, pretty good, too. I think definitely, like, like, Verse World 2 doesn't have, like, oh my god, that song, right? But it has a lot of really good songs on it. Uh, come this way, same thing, right? Like, really good, like, playlist. All right, I'm putting this on my playlist, but it's not, like, songs that I'm, like, okay, I'm turning this on. I'm in the mood for this song right here, right now. It, I, I don't have any, like, insane songs off the album, like, like that, right? That I'm, like, can't get this song out of my head. But they're great songs. Uh, I just got back with songs at the top. That's Canadian Goose. Canadian Goose. Uh, Moon Relay, it, yeah, I loved Moon Relay off first listen. Definitely an amazing tier, but it does get a little, like, his voice is a little annoying on it to me. I can't lie. It's not my favorite Uzi voice, but, like, you could tell he was trying on the song. I like, it, get, it gets a little repetitive. It gets a little annoying. It's a little abrasive, but the idea of the song is really cool. And for that, it's amazing. Lotus, hot take, best song on Versus the World 2. I love Lotus. I can listen to that song on repeat for hours on end. The vibe is just immaculate. It's what OG Eternal Take is in a nutshell, pretty much, um, without including, of course, right, and uh, 1600 Rager. But I think Lotus is the best. Sorry, Myron, amazing, but below, below Lotus for sure. Um, My Myron's pretty good. I think OG probably would have been a little better. Uh, but I mean, the, the new verse ain't bad either. Uh, release ain't bad. So I like that. All right, here we go. Whew. Love is Rage 2. His best album. Pretty cold take. Pretty cold take. Pretty Mammy is this is Uzi tier. I think Pretty Mammy is one of the most underrated Uzi songs by a mile. Incredible performance. I, I love, I love Pretty Mammy. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Mammy. Yeah, Pretty Mammy. How do you pronounce it? Pretty girl named Rosa. And she from the coast. Mommy? I mean, it's spelled M-A-M-I. But, okay. Um, how to Talk, dude. How to Talk is amazing. This is up there with, like, upper echelon tier songs from Eternal Take. Really, really good song. Super underrated. X is, is pretty underrated as well. I got it at, like, high tier great. Actually, no, nah, it's better than low main and homecoming. X is really good. Pierre snapped on that. Malfunction. Oh, my God. So good. It's definitely amazing. Malfunction. Can listen to that all day. Uh, Dark Queen. My favorite Uzi song. It is insane. Dark Queen has to be in This Is Uzi tier. Uh, he just popped off. Like, his performance is just incredible. 
Exotor life. Rare, 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 rare time where an artist's best song is their most popular, or one of their best songs is their most popular song. I don't think it's his best, but it is one of his best songs by, a, 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 like, a pretty reasonable take to say it's one of his best songs. Um, and, yeah, their, popu- his, their most popular is their best. Yeah, is pretty. it's pretty rare that that happens. And I don't think it's his best, but it's definitely, like, top 10, top 5 on a lot of people's lists because, yeah, it's really good. And it's really popular for a reason. I mean, it is almost at two Bill streams nowadays, which is crazy. Um, oh, sorry. Their best song. Sorry for mispronouning uh, Uzi. Anywho, on the other hand, Skr Skr is one of Uzi's worst songs ever. I think it's, yeah, Uzi's worst song. Uh, they just did not try at all. I should not have made the album. Loaded is a vibe. I like Loaded a lot. Loaded is pretty good. Low Amazing. Um, I think it's I. Uh, it, it can get a little repetitive, but I, I love the vibe. The beat really matches the vibe. Diamonds on my wrist. Awful. Uh, 20 Min. Why is it? Why did they say 20 minutes? What is that? Um, 20 Min is another, uh, another thing where it's like really popular song. Really good. I think it's a lower tier. This is Uzi. Uh, I think it gets slightly slightly overrated just slightly honestly like i yeah slightly overrated a little bit repetitive for me but it is still really good okay trav rose got the jokes sauce it up is also really good it it got its it got its love but yeah i mean people just play it because it's good i guess but um sauce it up's really good i i got it in like low amazing tier uh it's also repetitive, but has really good verses. Uh, no sleep leak. I'm not an enjoyer of. It's okay. Uh, the way life goes. Pretty fucking good song. It's like high amazing tier for sure. For real, mid. Uh, feelings mutual. Feelings mutual is amazing for sure. This is right. Like feelings mutual. How to talk malfunction. All right next to each other in my opinion. All right next to each other. My feelings are not mutual. Mid. <laughs> good one. Neon Guts, another case of really good song, is really popular. It's right next there uh, to, to The Way Life Goes. It's not This Is Uzi tier, but it's really good. Early 20 Rager, not the biggest fan of. I'm going to put in okay. Uh, Unfazed, holy shit. I love The Weeknd. I love Uzi. I don't know how they produce such levels of mid. It is crazy. Unfazed is not good. It, it, yeah, I don't know how they missed so hard. Two incredible artists collab, and it is a crazy miss. Um, 444 plus 222 is a great song. More than great. It's amazing. Um, he sounds like, like he literally features himself. He sounds like two different people. Uh, right up there with the way life goes, Neon Guts tier. Um, and then two is an incredible intro one of his best intros not as good as canadian goose in my opinion but it 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 sounds like a two version to even though love is rage 2 is a follow-up to obviously love is rage and not versa world it sounds like a like a part two of canadian goose i think two is how part two should have been done for uh part two of exo tour life part two of exo tour life was really just like, P2 was really like a derivative of EXO. But 2, if you listen to Canadian Goose and 2, they sound very similar beat-wise. Um, but yeah, I, I'm putting 2. It, it's not as good as Canadian Goose, but it is amazing. It's, I think, his best intro. Um, well, second best next to Canadian Goose. All right, here we go. Love is Rage is a bit of a yikes to me. Um, I'm going to get maybe some people upset. I'm not the biggest fan of the album. Ballin is actually okay. It's kind of listenable. Kind of listenable. Paradise is overrated in a little bit of a sense. I like it. It's a little too, like, catchy, poppy, oozy for me. It's kind of like Demon High, but better. I'd say it's, like, great, but, like, I'm not listening to it that much, to be honest. Super Saiyan, it's okay. It's minorly listenable, but just, like, not my favorite kind of oozy. 
Um, 7 a.m. is a great song. It, it's probably low amazing. Um, actually, it's, it's like high amazing. Definitely better than top. Definitely better than top. No conversation. Yamborghini Dream, Love Thug. It's just not that good. Right now, also not that good. Uh, top, yeah, hot take. Top is just great. It is Top is not a top 25 Uzi song. Sorry to say it. Sorry to say it. Count how many songs are above it, and I stand by all these. Top is good. It's not that insane. All right. All My Chains is bad. Belly's bad. Enemies. Amazing. Enemies might be better than 7 a.m. I'm putting enemies, like, right here. Enemies is insane. The rapping, if you are not a if you're not familiar with enemies, go back, listen to it. The chorus, the verses, the rapping at the end part, the way the he flows with the beat is insane. The beat just like falls apart around him and picks up right with his speed. It, 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 it's it's like it's like how in you know you know how in like Mario Kart, if you're doing really bad, it'll speed you back up and get you right back up there. It's called rubber banding, and like your speed kind of follows how you're doing. If you're doing really good, they kind of slow you back down. Um. And it, 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 it matches you in touch with your speed, right? You're doing really good. It follows how you're doing. The beat is just right on track with how Uzi is rapping. And it, it's just crazy, like, how they modified the beat to follow exactly how he's rapping. Or maybe he modified how he's rapping to follow the beat. Who knows? But love it. Okay? Banned from TV. Mm-mm. Uh, safe house. Mm-mm. New Paddock is insane insane how long the song is and how it doesn't get repetitive how it doesn't get old it is an amazing uzi song i love new paddock <laughs> okay try um drinking and smoking it's a, another example of like a popular song that's pretty good it's not the best song on the album in my opinion but i like it a lot drinking and smoking is pretty good million dollar play underrated underrated all day Million Dollar Play is low amazing tier for me, for sure. I love the rapping on it. Uh, listening to... Oh, thank you, Brayden. Uh, plastic. Plastic also, dude, does not get enough respect. Does not get enough respect. I also did legs today, though, Brayden. Plastic, dude, does not get enough respect. Same thing. That's it. Was They made, like, a music video for I think it's great, but it's not that insane. Leg press is an ego booster, yeah. Um, bought a bad bitch. Love the rapping on. Love the rapping on about bought a bad bitch. Bought a bad bitch. Bought a bad bitch. Bought a bad bitch. Yeah. Pink money on my wrist. I don't even go to sleep, bitch. I'm a I'm a exorcist. So it, it like it's 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 catchy. It's catchy. Rockstar chains. Big miss for me. Big miss. Mid. Lullaby. Another big miss. Big miss. One of ugh, one of Uzi's worst songs. She never been to Pluto. I, like the beats. Cool. I don't like their performances on it. It's, like, very low okay. Off that, same thing. Don't want to break up. I hate... Ugh, it's kind of cringe. Um, bankroll? Mm-mm. I have a friend who really likes it? Mm-mm. Not it. Moment of clarity? Mm-mm. Mid. Paddock. Um, oh, this isn't... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paddock, Paddock, Paddock. Yeah, this was the single that they released up... It's good. It's, it's all right. But it's... It's, like... I'd say maybe like beautiful, um, like low beautiful. It, it like I like the song, but it doesn't like do anything crazy. Like first listen, I wasn't like in love with it. You know what I mean? Over your head, eh, not that insane. It's like high, okay, maybe. Hard in pieces. Oh my, so underrated. Love. Over your head, yeah, no, it just wasn't that insane to me. Heart in Pieces is amazing. Amazing, amazing. One of the best songs uh, from that album, in my opinion. Maybe even over Drinking and Smoking. Loved it. Because of you. It was I. It was I. It, it did get a little annoying. I'll put in like low, beautiful. Really? You think amazing? I just disagree. Um, bust a move. Like the beat's cool, the idea's cool, uh, the execution's just like, I I'm glad they did it, but I'm not like listening to it over and over and over. Ah, true. On on yeah. Um, but yeah, bust a move. 
He love what's the move? Yeah, what's what's the move by Young Thug is really good. That's not on this list though. But um, bust a move. Yeah, it's just like it's like low amazing. Maybe nah. It's got to be. It's both beneath bad bought a bad bitch for me. Um, baby sauce K. Peak peak. Actually, sorry, that's the best song on the album. Baby sauce K is so good. Uzi's performance is really good. Futures is eh, but. Baby Sasuke is an insane, like, Uzi just went fucking hard. The one he made with Dirk, uh, you're thinking of No Auto. Yeah, No Auto is a really good song to me. I had that in Beautiful. Um, A song about a baby? I don't know. Yeah, No Auto is really good. Stripes Like Burberry, it's a good intro. I like it. It's nothing, like, outstanding, outstanding, but I, 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 I listen to it quite a bit. I'd say, I'd say it's low amazing. Um, Marnie on me, not the biggest fan of. This is okay to me. Uh, bus move was to P3 for me. What do you mean? <sighs> Sleeping on the floor, also just okay. Top three on the album? Really? Yeah, not to me. Um, Real Baby Pluto. Oh, this was insane. Yeah, Real Baby Pluto, insane. Actually, probably my favorite. Gotta say, that's probably my favorite off the album. Really loved Real Baby Pluto. That song, I... Like, honestly, this album is better than a lot of people um, give it credit for. Like, these songs right here that I have... Maybe not Stripes Like Burberry is over, like, High Roller or Free Uzi. Um, yeah, maybe maybe I gotta move these around a little bit. But, but yeah, like, it gets... It, it, it deserves a little bit more respect than it gets. Um, and then my legacy, mm -mm, mm -mm, not it. Tic Tac, cringe. It got a little bit of TikTok hype, um, for no reason. Uh, a little bit of, I just shut my shot at this little dot. It's like, Uzi, come on. Try a little harder, bro. Like, I, I see what he was doing. It it's like catchy. It's like, cool, you made a little bit of a, duh, 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 kind of flow. But it's like the Migos do that way better. Eh, mid. Uh, it's it, yeah, it's okay. Mid, okay, you know. Not gonna lie, the album is slept on. I agree. Overall, like the song, the album has some insane misses, like Moment of Clarity and My Legacy and Lullaby and Rockstar Chains and Bankroll off that. Like, those are some not good songs to me, right? Rip Migos, yeah. Migos as a whole, not even not even just take off, rip take off, but Migos as a whole are also dead. They already can they confirmed that Quavo and his Recent song. Really sad. Migos are completely done. They're probably not even going to release any posthumous shit, which is really sad. But yeah, no, the album, if you can, like, get through some of the not insane songs, the album's, like, has some pretty good hidden gems. Um, like, I consider these really good songs. I like them a lot. And they might not be people's favorite, like, melodic Uzi, because it's really a lot of rapping Uzi, but I like it. I like it. Um, and, and I like the flows. All right. Uh, missed the opportunity to name the one song Million Dollar Baby. What, you think Million Dollar Play? No, I don't know. Um, okay. Here we go. Red plus white. Red plus white. Flex Up. Oh my god, I love this. Flex Up is a banger. Love Flex Up. This is one of my favorite songs when it first dropped. I remember the rollout to this, uh, this EP was messy as fuck. I was just in work. Um, at my warehouse job, and I was able to listen to music, and I remember getting the beeper alert. I'm, and he just dropped it on SoundCloud. I'm like, what? And I listened to it on repeat the rest of my shift for like three hours straight, and did not get bored of it. Learned the whole song the day it dropped. Love it. Um, I love the the part where like, um, Molly Raw, uh, his his tag comes like back in. You were rolling loud when it dropped. That's that's like that's like. Um, but yeah, I love when, like, Molly Raw's, uh, tag comes back in around, like, uh, towards the later part of the song when, like, he does the chorus again. It's just, it's just a really good song. It's so enjoyable to listen to. The beat is just so light and, uh, really a good vibe. Hit in my shoulder. So good, dude. So, honestly, better than Flex Up. Does not get enough respect. Look at the streams on this album and tell me it gets respect it deserves. It doesn't. It doesn't. It deserves way more respect. Way more respect. Like, where are the streams? Where are the streams? You're telling me that this shitty-ass remix of an incredible leak 
is getting 10 times more streams than this pretty good EP. Like, come on. Like, even for fun, which is really good. Like, dude. Like, Hit In My Shoulder is top tier Uzi, in my opinion. Hit In My Shoulder is a very good song. And maybe not, maybe I'm overrating it a tad bit than these other songs. But yeah, like, Flex Up and Hit In My Shoulder are very good songs. Um, Cigarette, Cigarette, oh my god. I w so I was at New York City Rolling Loud 2023 with MDAW, actually, who's, if you can't tell, in chat right there. And Cigarette was insane. I saw him perform there. It's a really good song live. I'm not the biggest fan of it, um, like, just listen to it on my own time. But live, it's really, 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 really good. Iconic to come out to. Um, he does a really good good job performing it. I got to put it at, he loves performing it, too. It, it, it is, it is like, low amazing. He is a really good performer, yeah. For Fun is, is one of the better songs off the album. I don't think it's the best. I think Hit My Shoulder and Flex Up are better. But For Fun is really catchy. I like it. Uh, is a hit, <sighs> not it, mid, 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 Glock in my purse, so good, this is, this is right up there with Flex Up and Hit in My Shoulder, might be, it, it's the best, it's the best on the album, it's the, or EP, it's the best on the EP, I love Glock in my purse, it is just casual Uzi, having fun, probably freestyling, and over a great beat, and the ad libs, everything is just he's in his zone, you know what I mean? Final Fantasy, it's good. It's it's a really good outro to live performances, but like it doesn't do anything that crazy for me. It's fun, but it's a little repetitive in my opinion. He could have done a little more. After I heard that song, I put Glock I put a Glock in my purse. It's been there ever since. There you go, you're a real fan trap. Um, I know is also pretty good. Not my favorite off the EP, but I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's it's definitely a little amazing for me. Um, Space Cadet. I was not hyped for the EP when I heard Space Cadet. I know it was a fan favorite snippet. It doesn't do that much for me. Little overproduced. Little overproduced in my opinion. I got it like maybe like low beautiful. Low beautiful. All right, Sanguine Paradise. Actually, one of the first songs that got me mildly into Uzi. Didn't get me straight, straight into Uzi. Oh, do they not have Futsal Shuffle? I just realized Futsal Shuffle, they missed. That's really weird. Futsal Shuffle, I'd put like low, mid amazing. Um, Futsal Shuffle is the song. Unfortunately, I, I did get into Uzi a little late. Futsal Shuffle, I heard that song and I became a diehard fan that fucking day. I became very hyped for I joined every like Uzi Discord and subreddit and got hyped for Eternal Take to drop and I got baited about 10 times uh, like every midnight of every day of the week pretty much everyone thought it would drop after just like one little tweet when he had um what's his face a little peep as his Twitter uh, PFP that was an era but yeah Sanguine Paradise should be above this is Uzi I don't care best song really really okay Sanguine Paradise is a really good song I don't think it's his best. I think New Paddock is better than Sanguine Paradise, in my opinion. I really like it, though. I, I'm i not going to, like, try to make some controversial take that it's like, oh, no, it's not it's not that good, bro. Like, it is really good. But I think, I think like, some of these songs are way better. I, I, think, I think these songs above it are better, okay? Money Mitch, mid. Do not like, I do not like Money Mitch. Sideline Watching is, is really, really good. Yeah, I got to put it at high amazing. High amazing for sure. Um, probably above Neon Guts. Uh, I Can Drive. It's good. It, it's probably, I'd say, underrated to an extent. But it's not like his best work ever. I'd probably put it... i put it like here. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. I like it. Um, You're Lost. Oh my god, I love You're Lost. You're Lost is definitely high amazing for me. I love this whole uh, album. Eraser Social, really good, pretty repetitive, popular for a reason because it's fucking good. I got to put it, it, it's probably, yeah, around Sanguine tier for me. It's, it's, it's right around Sanguine tier. Rondo Winners, another underrated gem from the album. Got to put it around like, he, around like Malfunction tier. Um, Seven Million. It's good. It's just not like my favorite, like Uzi Future kind of collab. 
I'm not the biggest fan of seven million hot take. Um, for original Uzi four of us, I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of either. I think it's pretty mid. Of course, we get O Flowers. Is pretty fucking good. Um, not like my favorite Uzi Cardi collab. Um, I wish they would have put like more features on here, but you know that's right. I'll put it at. It's like amazing. It, it, it's like low amazing to me. All right, and then do what I want. Is not my favorite off the album. It's a popular song. I don't think it's like the best one. I think it's like around bigger than life tier, honestly. I think it's buried beneath a lot of these songs. It's a little repetitive. It gets a little old after a while to me. Um, Believe Me is only on SoundCloud. It sounds offbeat. I like the sample. Um, but it, it, it's cool. But like I'm not distraught that it didn't make Spotify because of sample clearances. It, it's all right, but definitely not like one of the best songs off the off the EP. And last song, Just Wanna Rock. I thought this was the intro to Pink Tape. When this first dropped, I'm like, okay, this is a cool song. Can we hear the rest of the sound? Can we hear Pink Tape, right? That's what I was hoping for. I didn't think this would be a standout single, a song that brings Uzi into the mainstream massively after Red Plus White. I think there's a lot of songs on Red Plus the White that are a lot better. But this is a very good song. I think it, it, it's a good popular song. But it he's I know he's always been mainstream. But like when Red Plus White dropped, you didn't have everyone on TikTok making TikTok dances to Red Plus White. Red Plus White did go a little bit under the radar. You just got to admit it. It didn't like and the streams don't lie. The streams don't lie. It went under the radar. Not a lot of people listen to it. These numbers are not that of like a massive mainstream artist. It's a little bit of a flop. I know it's not because it's a full album and it was a really messy rollout. But like Just Wanna Rock really like, you know, it, it, it was just like, oh yeah, Uzi's a really good artist to like mainstream people who don't listen to a lot of rap, you know? It was a bit of a reminder. But that is my Uzi tier list. I think everything's solidified. I don't really want to change anything around. If you have any opinions on any misses, I can zoom in if it's hard to see some of the names. Um, this is it. This is it in exact order. Um, these are top five Uzi songs for me. I think, yeah, uh, I think Dark Queen's is the best song. I really like Uzi. He's one of my most listened to artists. Right under Kanye, he's my most listened to artist. Uh, we'll probably do a Kanye tier list if you guys want. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys disagree. If you're like, dude, you're tripping. That song was insane. I mean, I wish they had leaks, right? There's a lot of leaks that uh, I can I can do a little bonus here of, of leaks that I would put in one of the uh, some of his upper echelon leaks. Uh, I'd say Buy It would definitely be in High Amazing. Um, let's see. OG Dolly. Not the little Tekka version. The little Tekka version fucking sucks. OG Dolly's High Amazing. I'd put Thought Back, which did leak. I'd put at, it's like low amazing. Big Watch, mid amazing. Of course, would be This Is Uzi tier. Maybe his best song. Uh, you Mad, High Amazing. 1600, Rager's Anthem. This Is Uzi tier. Mission to the Loot. This Is Uzi tier. Harden, mid amazing. Um, let's see. Zoom, low amazing, hot take. Uh, mood, I would put mid amazing. Um, I mean, I download these leaks for a reason. I'm not overrating leaks. I really like a lot of his leaks. Um, movie, which is kind of more of just a snippet that was repeated over and over for the like leaked version, is 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 maybe like great or or, or, or high great. It's actually low amazing. I actually wish he would have dropped movie. Want Blade is also really good. I really like Blade. That is like it's like mid amazing, maybe low amazing to me. Um, and then OG watch this. I also really like. I'd put that at mid amazing. Paddock swag. That that leak. I don't really like that much. That's maybe like great or okay. But yeah, that is my tier list. A little bit of bonus. I love the leaks too. And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys disagree. Any songs I'm tripping on? Make sure to like, comment your opinions down below, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next tier list or video uh, that you want to watch. All right, peace.